My agenda today is to take you through some tools how to win in the digital future. Every one of us uses digital devices. How many of us have a smartphone here? How many of you have some, all of you? How many of you have an iPad here? Look at this, all of you have high price, high margin devices. These devices have algorithms. These devices are digitized. These devices, if you have an iPhone, it now has artificial intelligence. More is coming. To create the future, I like you to think about what is causing the change. What are the trends? They exist today. And who are the human beings who are creating this change? This information is available today on things like Google, things like Facebook, and you have access to this information pretty cheaply. So the first part I'm going to take us through is what are these existing trends that we can master, we can learn about those, and see where these trends are going. This is the age of artificial intelligence. Everybody who does not know it is afraid of it. You should not worry about it. I will explain that to you. Artificial intelligence is something that is a collection of mathematical equations. You don't worry about it. These days, all those equations are available. They are transparent. Almost all of them were invented before the end of 19th century. You can buy them. So it's not one of those proprietary things that you can't find it. You buy home appliances, don't you? So we now are able to buy the tools under artificial intelligence. If you don't know it, learn it. But it is not a mysterious science. It's available, and that is the reason why I have 3,000 new startups every year. They are in India, they are in Israel, they are in Silicon Valley, they are in Austin, they are in Seattle, they are in Russia. These are the tools of mathematics invented, would you believe, in 18th century, 19th century, and they are available. You just have to know where to buy them. Change is getting very high speed. I want to tell you why. When we were building big plants, chemical plants, turbines, capsules, trucks, cars, that change was slow. Today, all of those use software. Software can be changed in less than six weeks. At Amazon, at Facebook, at Google, at Salesforce.com, these changes are made daily. If you make those changes daily, you have a high speed of change. And the second reason is the information, the data, is totally transparent today. Transparency of data and availability of tools, easily available, causes people to find their way and they create new game, new competition, and the speed of change is very high. New technologies, algorithms, data, has now begun to go and create new ways of manufacturing new ways to analyze materials. Today, I mean today, you can have a car built through 3D in 18 hours. It is done. I did not manufacture the idea. We now have aircraft engines. Aircraft engines, parts of the engines, are now manufactured by 3D. In 3D, it's lighter metal, 
it's faster made. So all these AI algorithms, changing materials and changing manufacturing. Cheaper costs, faster, lighter, more strength. Think beyond Brazil. Your market is more than Brazil. Why? Internet has no boundaries. Apple phone, 1.3 billion consumers today. America only has roughly 300 million people. Chinese love Apple phone. We in Brazil can create services and products that will be used by people across the globe. You can be a disruptor. Many of us are not born digitals. Many of us traditional companies. Traditional companies have advantage. They have data. They have customers. They know the domain knowledge. If they get digitization, they win. Digital people don't know the customers, don't know the domain knowledge. They don't have the data, they take your data. I want you to know all these companies, Apple, Amazon, if you look below the CEO, almost all the key people have come from your companies. They were not from digital companies. What are the mindsets of the winners? Can you see my five items, all of you? Okay. First, the future economy is a digital economy. Every company will be digitized. Every human being will have some kind of device, even the cheap smartphone. That is today. You don't have to guess. So in this economy, are you going to participate or are you not? We as leaders have to decide that. And that's number one. It's a digital economy and this economy is geared to facilitate consumer experience to be very easy. Number two, are you obsessed with consumer ease, consumer experience? I hear complaints all the time how certain airlines are terrible. How many of you travel on the airlines? All of you say yes. Is your experience fantastic? Always complain. I travel every day in airlines. Only a few in the world understand the consumer. Number three, as I said earlier, become a disruptor. Don't be disrupted. Because as I said, you have advantages. Your advantage is consumer data. Your advantage, domain knowledge. Your advantage is brand. Find the digital guys linked together. Number four, relish change. Love change. Change releases energy. Change is here. Fighting change is a losing proposition. Change will give you success. It will give you more capacity. It will give you resources to experiment, to innovate. So you need to practice. Am I a good change agent? You need to ask that question. And you need to have your methodology how to transform. And ladies and gentlemen, number five is the most important. In this age of knowledge, the power of knowledge, in this age, obsolescence is a terrible thing. Each of us must learn what is new, what is artificial intelligence, what it can do. Fast companies kill the slow companies. It's here. And so we got to get going if we are not. And we got to create in our company how to go fast. Number two, your organization engine needs to change. And that is, it has to be agile, it has to be innovative, it has to reduce cost by 30%. Please note the phrase, 
reduce layers. <clears throat> there are companies that have 10 layers. 10 layers mean decision making is very slow. Correct? We cannot be slow. We got to convert organization structure into a team structure. You as a leader, what we need to do. Number one, become the master of speed. Encourage innovation. Most importantly, learn what is the ease a customer wants, a client wants. Sometimes clients don't know that. You have to imagine it. Number two, learn new technologies. Internal combustion engine and cars change societies across the globe. Algorithms, data, AI, changing the world. You need to learn it. Number three, your business model got to change. It's not earnings per share. It is cash per share. Most CEOs still have not understood. Those who are willing to change are going to lead. People who are disrupting, they are no different than any one of us. Many of them do not have degrees. We look into the future. We look at the unstoppable trends. We have the mindset and aptitude how to win in the digital game. In doing that, First, look at the unstoppable trends. Read newspapers and see what is new. There's a news almost every day that is new, creating the change. But you need to observe it, extract it. Number two is who are the disruptors? Right now are digital companies, but traditional companies are coming and they're causing structural change. Have a look, what is the winner's mindset? I have written down here four. Ask yourself, what is yours? In doing that, create your mindset, create your aptitude, create your attitude that we are going to be winners. In doing that, what are the winner's strategies? And I've laid out six of those here. Examine your own, which ones are yours, which ones need to change. Where are you on the top curve in your industry, in your company? Because when things go wrong and when the curve bends, the decline here is very fast. Speed is a competitive advantage. Lack of speed is very very detrimental and here your speed has to be in tune with the change and my last item ladies and gentlemen is you as a leader a single suggestion it applies to me applies to everybody on earth obsolescence is a terrible thing the new game is learning new areas, new ideas. When I say obsolescence is a terrible thing, I'm defensive. When I say be on the cutting edge, it's on the offensive. We, us, other people, create the future. Future does not come from the sky. Become future ready. Brazil has great business people. Think markets beyond Brazil. Thank you. Thank you very much.